Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of A Build A Day. And today, I think, is the first time we are building off of one of our previous builds. I have sort of one minor um, caveat to that, where I did an interior as a different build, um, but it was sort of in one of our previous builds. Um, but that was an interior. It wasn't like the actual whole build. So this is the actual whole build. Um, so this is, uh, as you might recognize, yesterday's walking house. I really liked this. Uh, I love this build. It's really cool. And I wanted to do it a little bit better. So here we go. Um, I started by deleting the entire house because let's be honest, it wasn't the best. I threw it together in like, I don't know, five minutes or something. Um, and then just ignored it. So we built a nice one. Um, or a nicer one. Uh, that took up a decent chunk of uh, time. Um, sort of, I guess, semi-inspired by the style that I've been building in a lot recently, but it also looks reminiscent to the, uh, the one that we did yesterday. But, you know, there's obviously some differences. I mean, wider. Um, I think it's a similar length, but I did make it wider. Um, just to sort of accommodate for a couple more things. Um, changed up the windows, um, the entire sort of window design. Um, it's got a front door now. I think we had a front door, but it just sort of went off into nothing. But, you know, very safe. So uh, I think later in the build, I had a, I, I had a porch and uh, just a sort of you know, a little air entrance. Um, but yeah, we worked on the uh, second story. Um, this is built out of birch wood. Yes, birch wood. Yeah, and diorite and calcite. And it doesn't look bad. Yeah, you can make bad blocks look good. Um, I'm not saying the birch wood is necessarily a bad block. It's just hard to use. Diorite, though, if you use it too much in sort of concentration, it looks like bird poo. I'm not even joking. It looks like bird poo. It, it was worse, but it does look like bird poo. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. There's, there's most of the house done. Um, I tried being really smart with the roof and then messed it up. That that was, you know, mm, that went well. Oh well. Um, I was sort of trying to get this, you know, frame and stuff and add a little bit of a place where I could easily place in the stairs. But uh, I guess not. So uh, yeah, that. That was that. Added a porch, added in the floor, and then um, I realized my mistake. So that was lovely. Um, but yeah, this build was, it's a lot of fun to do actually. Um, it took a while. Uh, it took uh, 20 something minutes, um, but it, it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I don't usually build in this to a style so doing a more steampunky build after doing some more sort of medieval builds was a lot of fun very refreshing um i could sort of just do some experimenting it's like a, okay what does this do like um you know i we've got some uh sort of like tanks i guess under the the house now and uh, there's gonna be some chimneys and like a, a 
windmill on the back and it's like I don't really know what they do right per se I don't know like what is in the tanks I don't know but it's something to do with the legs right and the windmill right? what does that do uh, who knows it's maybe something to do with the legs or maybe it's something in the house and the chimneys you know they're like stack chimneys they're like factory style chimneys you know so they're doing something to do with like the legs or something in the house you know and adding a narrative even if it's really simple behind sort of what you're doing can make it feel a lot better because it makes sense to at least you if it makes sense to you it will most likely make sense within the context of the build um which is uh you know generally good i also i remembered for once to activate the shaders in the replay mod so the build looks very nice um in in the shaders so that's quite good um yeah, I think I'm just doing some details right now, um, which actually took a surprising amount of time. There was a lot of windows. I'm not even joking. Oh my word, I'm tired. I am so sorry, um, but we are six minutes in and I'm too tired, clearly, to re-record this. Um, so, oh well. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's only half seven. I don't know why I'm so tired. Um, yeah, there we go. We've got the detailing done. And now we're doing the sort of more technical, weird bits. So we're adding a couple, like, tanks, as I said, uh, under the uh, under the build. And, you know, it's just, just a couple of them and, you know, connecting them and stuff like that. And... I think I added some pistons to hold the axle thingy bajig together. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just a line of blocks between the two hip joints. It's not really how you'd want hips to work. You wouldn't want them to work in sync. You'd want them to work uh, out of sync. Exactly half a rotation from each other because that way, you know, you could move without like jumping. It'd be it'd be weird to see like a house just jumping its elf along. But um, yeah, I decided I was sort of flying around. I was like, I'm done much. I mean, I built an entire house, you know, and I had some tanks and stuff, but I haven't done much. So that's had a windmill. I was like, ah, let's jazz the windmill up. Let's make it like a steampunky windmill. So uh, I added that in. That was interesting. I had to do a lot of sort of figuring out of stuff to get the uh, the blades to be the same, and then sort of testing. Uh, the trap doors work? Eh, not really. The the fences work, and then I added like this sort of like wheelie bit at the front and uh, stuff like that so it's a lot of a lot of testing um a lot of experimenting and just a lot of what does this do does this look good no no this looks very bad okay remove it um and i did that a couple times and then i was you know, sort of looking at, at this side of the, the build and i wanted sort of maybe a second story but then i was like that will take too long so let's add some chimneys because who doesn't love a good couple chimneys but yeah the the chimneys you know they're, they're pretty cool um i added them sort of in the same uh style as the uh, tanks under the house and uh made one obviously higher than the other to give it sort of like a interesting look and jaggeded it up and couldn't figure out why this 
uh, well did it wasn't working. It's because I set the second position twice and didn't set the first position because I can't read. I, I don't actually know why. Um, it's very useful. Um, not really. Um, it caused a lot of confuse, confusion. I mean, I even rewrote the entire command. I checked block names. I was like, I am like replacing the correct block. Yeah, I am replacing the correct block. What is going on? It was very weird. It was very odd. So I undid that a couple times, figured out what was going wrong. And, and then I did the command wrong again. I changed the stuff to acacia wood when it was supposed to be stripped acacia wood. And I was like, I was going through stripping it. I was like, why don't I just undo the command and just redo it with stripped acacia wood? So I did that. And now we have the chimneys, which look pretty cool. I would say, I mean, you can really see one of them. In the screenshots, they look pretty cool. And then adding some texture in. Um, I built this without shaders, so I did uh, raw copper block, deep slate copper ore, uh, cobbled deep slate, and then smooth basalt. That was my gradient. Unfortunately, ores in the shader pack that I'm using glow so now there's like glowy bits at the top i mean i guess maybe it could be like embers or something but anyway the video is over i hope you enjoyed and i will see you tomorrow